Hey guys, in this video, you're gonna learn how I treat leaky gut and how you can benefit from this approach. Hey, what's up everybody? It's me, Amir. In my last week's video, I was talking about leaky gut. If you missed it, click the link right there. Right now, I'm gonna explain to you how you can actually take certain steps to help you plug up the holes in your body and make you feel much better. If we remember from last video, we had your cells, right? So we're gonna draw out your cells right here. And remember your cells are the bodyguards, right? But in our situation right now, our bodyguards aren't working, correct? So that means when you have leaky gut, there's holes right here. So you got holes in your body and it's going right to your bloodstream. So that's your blood and everything that you're eating right now or the poisonous foods that you're eating are escaping and they're going right to your blood. So we draw a big B or blood, right? That's not good. So we already know this, that certain foods, certain lifestyle and certain things in your life do cause leaky gut. The question remains is how are you gonna fix it? And my first step for fixing anything in the body is not adding, it's eliminating. And if you remember, like I was mentioning in my last video, is certain foods do cause leaky gut. And one of these foods is wheat or gluten or glycogen. So you got gluten or glycogen, it's a very dangerous protein. I'm gonna draw it as a star right here. This protein will actually cause your cells in your intestines to separate causing leaky gut. So obviously we want to remove gluten, which is wheat, which is a grain. Second thing you want to remove is dairy because dairy has a thing called BCM7, casein that does exactly the same thing, the same mechanism. So then you have here, we'll draw, we'll draw dairy as, uh, I don't know, like a, like a moon right here. So he's evil. And then dairy would come in and dairy would do the exactly the same thing, causing these holes in your gut. And you don't want that. The third thing you should eliminate is soy. Soy also does exactly the same thing. Moving along, you want to eliminate corn. And then finally, there's certain other foods you want to eliminate such as the nightshade family. This being said, you want to then, at the end of the day, eliminate grains, dairy, soy, corn, and the nightshades family. This way, we eliminate everything from the body that may be causing you to have leaky gut. That's the first step in solving this issue of holes in your body. Now the second step is a very personalized approach because everybody's very unique and special. So you can't just tell everybody, oh, Michelle do this, Johnny do that, Ashley do this. It doesn't work that way. So I highly recommend everybody get some functional diagnostic testing done. This way we can identify what bacteria do you have. So you may be having, you know, evil bacteria in here right here and you know, evil bacteria causing problems. And you can be eliminating all the foods, but if that evil bacteria is still active in your body, it's causing these holes. You can have actual parasites. So people get scared of the word worms or bugs. Well, I'm sorry to say, everybody has it. It all depends on do you have the right kind in your body. So you can be having some real evil parasites, right? evil, evil, evil parasites in your body causing the same holes. Or you can be having yeast infection, or you can be having certain biomarkers stopping the progression of your health. So it's really important to get functional testing done to identify what's happening in your gut. This way, once we realize if there is bacteria or this worm, we're gonna take the necessary steps in conjunction with removing food to say, okay, bye-bye guys. So no more bacteria, no more parasites. Where does that leave? fresh slate over here. That means that gives your body the ability to heal. Finally, there's a really special test I like to do is running an adrenal profiles test because at the end of the day, you can be eliminating good foods and maybe eliminating these bacteria, but if you're a very stressed out individual and your adrenal glands are either pumping out way too much cortisol, which is your stress hormone, or maybe pumping out too little cortisol, that has a huge effect on your immune system because in your gut right here, you have a thing called IgA, so immune globulins. Think of them as your 
one of your bodyguards. You have many bodyguards in your body, but this is one of your bodyguards. And this, you know, the, the, IG, the IGA, it's be a layer right here, right? So it's another protective layer in your intestines. But if you have cortisol issues, that's gonna cause this layer, this secondary bodyguard to, well, vanish. So no more bodyguard, goodbye. All right, it vanishes away. That's why it's pretty key to know exactly how your adrenal glands are running. Your adrenal glands are tied with your immune system and this all goes in the same body of functional diagnostic testing. It, it's pivotal to find out exactly what you need because everyone's dependency on or everyone's need for certain supplements or dietary needs are a unique individual approach. Finally, my third step in healing the gut is simple steps that almost everyone can do to increase the environment for your gut to heal. So the first step I like to add is glutamine. And the reason why I like adding glutamine, the, your actual cells, so let me just wipe this off over here. Your actual cells in your body right here are actually composed of glutamine. And think of them as the building blocks of your body. So same thing as in a house. So if I'm building a foundation to my house, I'm going to use cinder blocks to build a very strong foundation so my roof can be over it, right? But in the body, those building blocks is glutamine. That's why I like to add about 10 grams of glutamine to give your cells the initial tools or, or the material, I should say, to build. So once you that way we can build healthier cells and see that gap slowly start closing that gap, right? The next thing I really like to add is cod liver oil. And cod liver oil is loaded with your omega-3s, your omega-6s, vitamin A, and vitamin D. Now, all of these substances in cod liver oil are essential for your cells. Like I mentioned before, these are the building blocks. You need to have them. They control the fatty acid composition in your body. They control how your immune system function and they control how your adrenal glands function. As I mentioned before, your adrenals and cortisol have to do with your immune system. I definitely love to include emulsified vitamin D. Now, a lot of people are taking regular vitamin D, but if you have maybe immune problems or maybe your body has detoxification problems, you can't digest that vitamin D. So when taking emulsified vitamin D, that's like a pre-digested form. So we're giving less pressure on your body and the better vitamin D status you have on your body, the better immune system you have. Obviously with a better immune system, we can start plugging up the holes, right? No more holes, goodbye. Vitamin D is essential, it's a, it's a must, and we're very deficient today. And if you just pay close attention, when I was talking about cod liver oil, there is vitamin D as well in cod liver oil. And that's why it's so important to take vitamin D. And finally, uh, a very special thing I like to add is actually not a supplement, it's a food. And uh, we've lost this in our culture, in a society today, is bone broth. Cultures used to make this always, and it's very simple. When you have an animal, say you have a chicken, a, a fish, a piece of beef or a steak or something like that, over here we like to throw away the bones, but every single culture knew the bones are the healthiest portion. So what they did is they take the bones and they'll boil it up, boil it up, and, and through hours and create this gelatinous thing. This jelly has your glutamine, it has things called gags, it has so many really good amino acids for your body, and I consider it one of the most greatest things to actually healing your gut. and. When I mean heal your gut, it heals your gut. It makes your gut cells nice and strong. Finally guys, one, my last thing is, you can be eating good food, you can be adding supplements, you can be making bone broth, you can be doing everything, running your test. But what happens if you're not sleeping right? And this is a very overlooked aspect of health. Sleep controls your hormones. Sleep controls your immune system. Sleep controls everything who you are. So for you to think that you can be eating and supplementing but not going to bed on time, you're mistaken. You must go to bed on time. If you missed my last video or my previous videos about sleep, you gotta check them out. Because such a small change you can do, such just simple stuff you can do by going to bed at like at 10 o'clock can 
exponentially improve the quality of your life and make you feel better. This, my friends, is my protocol for healing the gut. It's nothing fancy, it's nothing special, but it's simple steps that can start you on your path to success. Hey guys, I really hope you enjoy my video about how to heal leaky gut. For more videos like this, you know what to do. Subscribe to my channel, leave some comments, and obviously catch me next week. Take care.